be about 15 miles an hour probably, which almost seems good nowadays. That's, the, that's playable. And we've been playing in 20, 25, which is no fun. All right, getting my microphone on. Switching the sides. All right, so we're gonna work on twos and fours. Twos and fours, twos and fours, twos and fours. So we're just thinking to you, we got we have to put it in your court, you can go in both our courts, and you're focusing on twos and fours. And looking for the holes you build. Because we aren't hitting twos and fours just to hit twos and fours. We dink to set up holes and to set up opportunities. Okay. That's why we do it. We don't dink just to dink. Some people just dink to dink. But we're setting up opportunities. Nice. Ball. <laughs> There's an opportunity. <laughs> Yep. But I should just keep going to you and not be trying to two four two four. It depends on what happens. If you feel I put you in a defensive position, then you need to switch it. Okay. Yep. If you feel you're beating one of us, then I would stay with it. Or if we get out of position, like right here, I want you to notice what what do you notice right now? Right, so that opens up that oh. hole. So you need to set. You need to set it up. You need to set it up. Yeah. A little more pressure, but if you get a forehand, that's probably when I roll. You would roll it over. If I give you kind of a soft forehand, kind of like, maybe not that, but ball. But you're looking for this opportunity. Too low. You should never miss those dinks. I mean, you never went over here. Not one time. <laughs> You'll get it. You don't have to hit a winner. That's the thing. I just have to win. Yes. To make you move. Correct. Yes. That's it. A lot of times you guys are trying to hit winners off these shots, and they're actually just setup shots okay. for for an easy winner. Okay. You got it. That's all you're trying to do. Because if you move me here and he doesn't follow and I put it back, what's the hole? Right. 
If he comes over, what's the hole? So you're just setting up those two openings. If they don't open, then you just start over. Correct. But try not to give me a volley. You're not attacking it. You're just trying to make me move. That's it. You're just trying to make me move. Yeah. One, two steps. That's it. Got it. What are you doing? <laughs> Reset. Reset. All, you're, all you have to do is dink right here or over here. You don't have to do anything else. Let it happen. Me. There you go. Me. It's open. There you go. Nice. For every shot you have, there's basically two shots that can come back. That's what you're trying to set up. Oh, oh, there we go. Just leave it. Yep. Uh, yeah. I mean. That is an easier shot to come. And if you're hitting it at the feet, I think you can get away with it. If you're hitting it up in this area, you're going to get it smoked. But if you can hit down on it, I feel you can kind of hit anywhere you want. You know, because really, how is that? That shot's really not going to burn your partner. It's going to set up a pop-up. But if it's anywhere here, then you'll burn your partner. So if you get an easy one, I wouldn't worry about where it goes. Many volleys. Many volleys, neutral dinks. You. <laughs> Doesn't get more neutral than that. You found the hole though. I mean, you made it happen. That was Gordon's. Play it. So you gave me a volley over here. You gotta bounce it. Give me a volley again. Good shot. I feel like from that, if we neutral her, her here, she has an easy nine volley dink to there. Yeah, for sure. Any neutral here, if you step up with your forehand, you should be able to. Said I'm putting it back because he's doing it. He's giving you, you're giving him a volley. I'm saying, I think you No, can. but I, that wasn't a volley. I'm saying what I'm doing is giving him what you're telling me I should take. Home. Yes. Yeah. Right? It's a neutral dink. Whenever I get that neutral like dink, that. that makes an easy cross court. Super easy. Like, if, hit me a neutral dink over here. That gives me the easiest one. That's kind of the only one I really attack. Otherwise, you know, by you coming across, it's gonna, you need some arc 
you know, so it'll land softly. Otherwise, it's going to penetrate too deep and give me a volley. Okay. You're trying to more attack it instead of hit it soft. Yeah. Just soft. Make me move. That's it. You don't have to win the point. You're just, there you go. You're just setting up a hole. Oops. You. That's, those are all attacks. A foot over the net, land it right there. Okay, let's move over here. Let's get the balls. Plus, I'm not going to let up. I'm going to keep pressuring you. <laughs> yes, this is not a guessing game about what you're trying to do to me. <laughs> you want that pressure in practice so it doesn't happen in the game. Practice pressure. Okay, Gordon, you go over here. I like this drill. I mean, we're hitting twos and fours and just trying to get, we're looking at the two openings that come out of it. That's all you're doing here. Yeah, you're going for too much. There it is. All right, just chill out. That's better. There we go. Yeah, he gave you a volley. Okay. Nice. That's yours, my bad. There we go. Better. Better. Come back to me there. What? He was up there ready. Yeah, I need to come back to you. Yeah, this is your opening. Excellent, excellent. So that one's your bailouts here, or a lob there. I mean, all these shots just have two shots. We'll get it. Work in progress, something new, you know. More clearance, Clarence. Too wide, don't attack it, just set up. You're just setting up a point. You're setting up a point. Nice. I have to bail, be able to bail out. That was good. Too good. Huge spaces. <laughs> Don't go through the wall when you can go around the wall. You, but to his backhand. To Gordon's backhand, you're pretty safe. Oh, you had the whole world. Doesn't it break your heart when I do that? 
it does. It does. Because you did everything right, and then you don't eat the cake at the end. So what's your bail out there? Right here or in that corner. That's it. Me? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question. There we go. Okay, switch to there. You don't like cake, huh? You don't like to eat the cake? <laughs> you bake the cake and then you didn't eat the cake. Hit her over the net. Over the net. <laughs> You're putting in the work. You got to get the payoff. You got me to pop it up. More clear. Don't worry about me. Just get it over the net. There! There you go. You have to kind of climb on his shoulder to get a notice. I almost did. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even think you even had to bail. I think that that was a perfect shot just for over there. Yeah. Oh, that was good. I like that one. I like, yeah, if you have the stretch, it's me. I liked it from her. Because that's the shot. Okay, so let's think about this. What's our two shots that we're looking for happen? Right. We're looking for this person, and usually, at my level, I don't go there until they step on that line. I want them to step on that line. Once I do that, once I know they do that, then I go there because that's a pretty tough shot. Yeah. And then, yeah, if I go here, he comes here. Where's the shot? Yeah. You know, if they hit the, the super winner. I just have to hit it softly. Right? Yes. Yeah. Just put it down that line. You know, there what she did challenges my decision about doing something stupid. A lot of times this, this two shouldn't. It's going to be this guy's yeah. ball. Yeah. But you go there to open this. Right. right. Yeah, because if he's coming too far, for me, my partner, I don't want them in here at all. Yeah. I'm going to take, I should take every ball here, you know, until they can prove to me that they can hit that cross court shot. But I do have to cover that when you go wide. When I go wide. I've got to cover that. No, too much. How far over do you want me? If you see I really have to stretch to go, then you come. But a lot of times I'm able to bounce back to here. Yeah. Correct, but leave it to me for the most part. So let's try that. Yeah. I should be the only one kind of moving around. Volley, volley. That's where you might want to cover. Yeah, that was exactly it. You had it and you rushed the last shot. 
If you're going to get sassy, you better win it. <laughs> there, because now we're really two on one, and, you know? Yeah. So let's switch here. Couldn't get the no out of my mouth. I'm like, oh, no. Okay, false. See, I want to still keep doing this drill because, yeah, I don't think you see what I see yet. Because I'm thinking about everything else, and I just need to get back into do you, are you, at the ball. Do you notice how differently she's playing it? Yes. She's more comfortable hitting at you than me. Right. Where? That's why I said earlier, don't worry about me. Hit the right shot. Right. Because you can hit. It doesn't matter how good this player is. If you hit a good shot, they can't do anything. That's what keeps me. That's why I can play pro without being nervous. I'm like, I don't care who's over there. If I hit the right shot, they can't do shit with it. Nothing. So I just try to hit the right shot. That's it. <laughs> that was just a good shot on his part. There's nothing you can do. You hit the right shot. He just hit a better one. Reaching in too much. Let those bounce. If you feel he's getting the better of you, then you you kick it back to me. You got it. Nice. That was calm. Now reset it up. Reset it up. There, and there's a winner. <laughs> the first because I'm I'm always watching people's paddles yeah. if they're angled yeah. a lot of them can't hide it there's you know they're going to angle that paddle I know it's going that way that last one though you had the angle and then switched it so that was that's upper level stuff you know disguising your shots There you go. Some to her forehand, some to her backhand. Okay, good. I was going to say that this is what we've worked on before. Is it could be an attackable shot there? Yes, especially one that bounces a little high. It was perfect. I, I wasn't ready for it. I thought you were going to come middle. You hit a neutral shot. I'm moving and I chunk it. 
That's how that's how those need to be. They don't need to be wicked power. Because if you do power, then you kind of set yourself out of position. You can't get back. So look especially if you bring him out wide and he comes to your forehand, the the middle shot should be open. Yes. Yeah, like that. So we're looking for, if he's going outside to outside, right? The only two shots you're looking for is this one and that one. Correct. Yeah, the outsides. Now, if he makes a mistake and hits your forehand, then that gives you an attack opportunity. It might not be there. I could be, right. All right. But you do want me to hit it to a forehand? Yeah. Just every once in a while. So just set, you're setting up shots. Don't panic. You're just setting up these shots. That's all you're doing. You're playing tactically. The other shot here is a lob to that corner. Oh. Okay. So if they make the mistake, right? Exactly. So I, this is all. This is five zero mind. Okay, I'm moving him here. If he gives me this, I, I'm going there. It just kind of happens automatically now, where I don't have to think about it too much because I know the patterns. Correct. Correct. That's what I'm trying to. Correct. 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 No, and right now you're still thinking it's a good law, but that's not necessarily the wrong corner. You know, I mean, if you get him way off balance like that, and I am over here, I'm never getting that shot, you know. But a lot of times that person just can take one step and fire it. It's just, it's just open. This is what you're creating. You're creating holes. You're not dinking to dink. You're dinking to create a hole. Now you're getting too aggressive. Well, and now I'm where is where is something open? Just set them up. Set them up. Uh, I don't know. Out. So when when he's going backhand to backhand, what shots are you looking for? Either down this line or across. Yeah. When he or I go to your forehand. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to hammer it, right? I should never think of a hammer. Yeah. Especially if I hit one and it's a volley to you, it's directed right back where I'm, I'm rushing to get back you're here. Gonna, yeah, you're That's gonna. one of my favorite shots, is I lean in and I just pop it back, you know, to where they were, and they just end up giving it to my partner yeah. or something. Because you're also setting up your partner, just not yourself, you know. Right, you started just going all full attack mode. Yeah. They aren't there. Wait to open the shot. Yep. Neither am I. That's why I got to be smarter. You know? That was good. That was perfect. Your partner would have just ripped that. Try to get it more and get it bounced. Yeah, and just keep doing it. There you go.
that's going to set something up. Oh. That was a great idea. Just a little softer. And don't, don't, you can always go here too, because that's going to bring him over and open up that shot. Does that make sense, what I said? Yeah. If you just pop it here. I to, like, from that shot, I'm not going for a winner. I still am. You're still setting up a shot. shot, right. Yeah. But this is one of your setups, because I'll go here, it sucks him here, and then you go back door. Okay. You know, these are all, you're working to set up the two open holes. And then if you get a forehand, that's just a gift. Not there. Just wasn't high enough. Yeah, it wasn't did bounce high enough. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, cake glass. <laughs> that's that's frustration at the coach right there. So me, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for him to hit it to your backhand and you put your head down and then I'm earning. And no matter what, we're getting a ton of dinking practice in. So. Yeah, I liked it. Get her over the net. Okay, let's put, put you on this side. And you, Gordon, over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let me go there. I do. Okay. Oh, jeez. Good. You didn't hit the net? You know? No. What happened there? That's probably one you can jump in on, Gordon. If it's in the air, you still want to be the hunter. Oh, nice bailout. Now reset it, reset it. Yeah. It was going well, but those, no, those balls were coming right at your feet. Yeah, they just raced over there and then it's like stopped. Too dangerous. <laughs> no, that was the best yet, right there. You were working it, working the system, you know. I mean, I like it because we're getting dink practice in and strategy. Eventually, you just see yeah. what you're building, you know. But it doesn't happen like day one. You know, That's why I love this game. I'm playing chess out here. But when it gets to the point, it's just automatic. You know, that's you that's the best. The in front of you. That's the best. Yeah. So. Uh, and then you build it, and then you move them micro, you know, inches, 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 and then it's open, you know. Here, 
Yep. You wanted me to take one, and it was just it wasn't attackable. It looked like it was high. High enough. Coming there, where you could have jumped in and Got it. Okay. gave it so a little high pop. Attackable, but if it's low and going to bounce there, it's yours. Now, if you're the better player, no, no, I would want you to take it. No, but I'm not right now. I'm right. Then I want to control it. I yeah. Understand. I'm just saying, how far over when it bounces do you want me? It sounds like I'm here and maybe there. Yeah. I take it. Right? Yeah. That toe. Yeah. Beyond that toe, you're going to get it. Maybe right to there. And then put it back. You would put it back in front of yourself, right? To her too. Yeah. Now, if they show me that they can really roll that ball, then it changes everything, you know? She has to learn to move me. You like how we're talking like you're not even here? <laughs> so this is that's that's it that's how you set up that roll right, yeah just go straight every once in a while then i move over it opens that yeah. okay. just like i was saying on the other side hey go forward to me gordon will move over you never did it yeah but that's exactly what it looks like right. That's how this game is played at the high levels, you know? Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was a dud. That was a dud. So you gave me a volley, you like over hit it. Just put it right here, over, up over the net, just like that. Yeah, and you didn't, you know, kind of go back to a ready position. You hit your shot and kind of watching it, you know? Got to get over the net and it's perfect. I mean, this whole net thing is important. <laughs> it turns out. It turns out. <laughs> That's why I call it the second worst shot in pickleball instead of missing the serve. I'm like, if you don't get it in play, we can't play. You know, you can't ever win if it hits the net. Ah, so good. You didn't over hit. That was great. And you didn't go down the middle because I was there. Over the net. Over the net. Okay, switch to there. Um, let me go here. Now let you go here. You stay. I think this is my. We used to go, Lisa, we used to say the number 30. Okay, 30, which means I'm going to hit 30 dinks before I do anything. Okay. In my mind, I will not attack until I get the 30. You know? Now, if they give you a total gift, you're going to take it. Yeah. But in my mind, I'm not looking. A lot of people are looking, okay, where's my attack? Where's my attack? Where's my attack? When I should say, I can dink forever. I'll do this for 100 shots. You're standing on top of him, then like, okay. Then it's just. I can hit it over there. Right. The Red Sea parted, you put it there. But I think sometimes also you do this great setup and you need one more setup shot. Yes, yes, I lose my patience. 
Yeah. yeah. And Paul would say, one more bake. Bake it a little longer, you know? Which always helped me, personally, you know? One more bake. One more shot. Yeah. And remember, a lot of times you can win. This is what people don't realize. Just by dinking. Just by outlasting them. Correct. They end up missing a dink. Because they're looking for attacks. And you're just... I will dig forever. That's what, in that last tournament, Tommy Wong, I'm like, okay, Mark, I'm going to stay in this forever. Forever. Of course I wouldn't, but in my mind, you know, that, that's what I'm trying to get myself to do. Mentally, I'm talking myself into it. I'm going to stay in this dink forever, you know? Yeah. I win more shots on just plain dinking than I do on attacks. When I start getting attacky, yeah. oh, man, the game goes to yeah. shit. My game goes to shit. Okay. So stay on this dink. Oh, that was good. So reset it up now. Reset it up. Good job. <laughs> uh, yes, we're going to say yes right now. <laughs> For, well for mental health purposes. <laughs> Just work it. Work the system. Dink for days. Dink for days. There you go. Oh, no. Yeah, that's one where normally you would have attacked earlier and maybe missed, maybe got it. But look what happened. You just putting it back. You have him moving. All you needed was the easy shot. I was thinking she was going to attack on the forehand, yeah. so my heart's going a little bit. And she won just by putting it back in play. But it wasn't crazy. It was just a little out. Nice. The movement got you. That I was moving? No, my movement, I thought. Doing. Yeah. Or helping? Really? <laughs> I have <stone> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it it'll pay off, man. And eventually we'll get back to me. But I'll be out of town coming up. Oh no. I gotta go in there when it's yeah. so close over there. Plus the wind is blowing that way. Yeah. You can also that shot sets up for an easy this corner. Because you're looking here, you just hit 10 in a row here, I've just moved, you could easily just pop it right okay. there. Then I have to take two steps, and, I have to, I will run back over and you're right there, and your partner's ready to cover that gap. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because you're just dinking still. Right. It's just a dink. Yeah. Okay. And it's a pretty, very high percentage. Dinking for days, 100 dinks. Hundred dinks. Oh, no. And you just won off just plain dinking. I love it. Because your backhand dink is so good, you know? I mean, you can't say it's not the movement because the three times I've moved, missed each that's time. True. Yeah, that's true. So if I can catch your eye peripherally. That was so good. And you didn't even have to hit that hard. Right. I mean, I legitimately tried to get it. And it was just too difficult. Go, go here. Okay, I'm here now. I'm here. I'm going to beat you. Yep. That's one for me. One for me. One for me. Whoa. 
Yeah, that's where it went past your, your cone of influence. There we go, Gordon. Way to save my crap shot. That's what a good partner will do. Come on. Come on. You were making them all day till I moved over here. All day. All day. All day. Come on. <laughs> Don't lose your cool. Right now is where you go calm, zen. Go zen. If you lose your cool, you're going to give me five free points. You went in the kitchen, though, so that's my point. No participation trophies here. Come on, let's go. Keep going. Keep going. You can go forward, though, to Gordon to set up a better shot. Give me a volley. Set it up. Set it up. Got you leaning. Keep going. I just want everything over the net for sure. Way to do that without overdoing it. That's all you needed was to put it right there. Oh shit, that was good. That was good. And you didn't overpower it. You just placed it. That's what we're learning here. Okay, save me, save me. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, that was good though. Okay, let's collect them again. Okay, now we'll kick Gordon out and we'll do resets. Yeah, that was real good. I mean, you started to figure it out at the end there. I'm wondering if it'll do good if we do keep Gordon and put. What are we doing, Lisa? Actually, it might be good as a team if I go single and you two play the strategy, the twos and fours strategy against me. Okay. You want to try that? Yeah. Yeah. We're still dinking. We're still dinking. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, you're only going to be one. Yes, but you're going to work as a team. It's all good. It's all practice. You are with that attitude. 100%. <laughs> that sounds like a compliment to me. Do you guys see how low I get? I mean, it's very important to get low. When I'm low, I can. It's easily. It's easy for me to lift these dinks. I had to bail on that. That was good. No. Too aggressive, yeah. Because, yeah, because if you just pop that in here, correct, I can. And you'll probably get a good pop up out of it.
Ooh. That was good. That was just off a dink, a neutral dink, you know? I like that shot, Gordon. Like a frying pan. Yeah. <laughs> Watch my paddle too. There you go. Nope. So I want you to notice if I'm a if this person is a better backhand dinker. You want to go a little more middle. If you go forehand, you gotta be able to cover that middle. So just remember that. I don't run into too many that are better back in dinkers than me, but I, there are some. So I just have to outsmart them. I don't avoid them, but I try to outplay them. Let's get over the net though. Gordon's favorite shot. I like you went back in bias. That was good. Normally I can get you on that. So also remember the wind strategy. If it's at your back, it's a lot of the times easier to let it bounce. Yeah, and then it's just easy to hit these shots. Dummy! It was a neutral dink, I couldn't do it, you know? Get that ball over. That is true. And look now, Gordon. Now you're missing easy shots. I'm just trying to get in your heads, you know. No room. <laughs> no room in here. Look, Paul, I caught it. I caught it. I'm living just rent free up there. There's so much room. That ball's got to get over. Ball's got to go over. Are you guys sick of me yet? <laughs> yeah. Reaching in. Not letting it bounce. That's a perfect bailout. Okay, let's switch, you guys. Yep. That's exactly what I do. But I get the ball over the net. I had it there. Why did I? Yeah, exactly. So reset yourself, calm. Calm. Oh, way to hang in there and not panic. She, is this right? She's doing this, which is fine. Yeah. So she goes to dink and she's. Well, then I, yeah, then look, you got to probably change it. But you don't look right when you're doing your back dink there. Well, I don't know. I mean, like, if he winds up, I better okay. have this okay, right but, here. But you just take it back. No, I understand. I know that I have to. You're going, she, you're saying she's going in her blocking stand down into her dink, yeah, instead of just loose and coming back. So my, I mean, I'm always back to here, right? Yeah. Always. Every time, hand goes back to here. So I always get back in ready position. That's something. Correct, correct.
Nope, I could leave. So that's Gordon. So see, I don't have to do anything too hard. Right. I'm just waiting to move you guys, get you out of position, and then there's a hole. Right. And I just hit the hole. Otherwise, I stay in that dink, you know? And I focus on getting everything over the net. Okay, now let's kick Gordon out. Yeah. What time you got? Okay. Well, we started early. That's okay. Um, That's extra time. Three setups, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. One is wide. Now I'm out of position, right? One, the next one is about to that X is or deep. a little deeper, yeah. right? But there. So now I move back to get yeah. back because there's no way I can take that right. out. The next one was over there and yeah. deep, right? Yeah, so then and you're then way he, back I there. pop it up to where he just, I'm just but saying. Anyway, yeah. yeah, and then he stayed put. Unless I get. Because I developed him. It's like a jujitsu master and we're like babes. We're in quicksand. Yeah, I'm just, these, these little moves work, right? I go one here, I go one back there, I wait from the camp, and then he opens middle. Because I'm also looking, while this is happening, I'm looking for you to move over. And if you do, then I have that back door. But they're all set up off the dink. Everything off the dink. Yeah, so, so we can work on resets or we can play games. It's up to you. Yes. Okay, and just get it, to get it back a thousand times. Yeah, I like and the games just because I can put you in more realistic situations and yeah. just pressure and mentally try to mind F you <laughs> until you say, I won't let them do that to me. Right. Okay. That's where I'm trying to get you. Yeah, yeah. Let's play games. Because it does, you let you mind F me. Exactly. And it's really. And Lisa doesn't, right. you know? I think she used to. I miss her because I think of her often, like every time I walk back to the fence, yeah. go, and sometimes I'm like, what would Lisa think at this point? Like, <laughs> down 410, I'm like, what would Lisa think? Lisa would think, we got all the time in the world, they've only got 10 points. Right, and plus she would, think, she would think, never give up. Right, we can do this. Yep. Yeah, we there you go. Serve, we can do it. Yeah. Okay, I want you to get a point on me. I don't think you can. Okay. Will you underestimate me? Maybe I don't. <laughs> zero, zero. <laughs> I'm one of those crazy coaches, you know? Yeah. One zero. But I make people good, you know? If they can handle my level level of crazy. Two zero. ball back there. Your job is to get a point. 3-0. Oh. But you got to kind of wait on a little better one. Yeah. <laughs> Four zero. Five zero. Five zero. Lots of footwork, lots of movement.
Okay, switch sides. So this one, the dink, the lob won't be so easy, but it might be for you, you know? But it has to be set up or I'm gonna see it. Yeah. Six zero. Well, you, you read me like a book, so I don't even think I'm here. So you're like my dad. <laughs> I never did anything wrong because I was like, I don't know before I get home. <laughs> it wasn't there. It wasn't there. Yeah. Seven zero. If you're, I want you to attack, but higher level. Except I rarely give a high level. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, zero seven. Ooh. Yep, I just caught you moving. Uh, seven zero. Out. Eight zero. There you go. Move those feet. Stay in there. Stay in there. Get low. Get ready. Good shot. Uh, nine zero. That one probably could have been attacked. I just like to give neutral dinks. That one might have been able to be a ten. Okay. Not that one. Ten zero. Only one gift. Okay, let's go. Let's go diagonal. We'll stay on our own. Number zero zero. Remember the patterns. Oh. Thought you might have a little poke there. Okay, so one zero. So, so I'm here, you're there. I'm there. Yep. One zero. Gordon, you tell us when it's time. I'll drop that ball. Two zero. Don't miss, stay in that dink. Three zero. I call this my tournament squat, you know? I get low. Three zero. That was out? Okay, it's your call. Um, zero three. But that was a great bailout right there. It was perfect. But now I have to punish you for it. So I left you a ton of room back here. Recovering. Yeah. yeah. Three zero. Okay, three zero. Four zero. Yeah, you had me, you know. All you had to do is just move me again. Yep, five zero. So what am I doing to you? You're burning me down the middle and I'm letting you. Right, I'm trying to inch you over, right? Yeah. To open that shot. You can do the same to me. Six zero.
Uh, that was out. I want to give it to you, but I, I couldn't. Okay. Seven zero. Oh, here we go. Seven zero. Now you had me burnt, right? All you had to do is get ball over. Eight zero. I like it though. That was the right shot. Nine zero. Oh, that was legit. Zero nine. That was a good shot. Under control, you know. Position over power. Oh, get that over. Okay, zero nine. Oops. Okay, zero nine. That's in the past. It's all in the past now. This is what. Thank you. This point's all that matters. All the rest don't matter. Zero nine. Did that go enough? I don't think it did. Don't get down on yourself. Just we're just playing a game. Zero nine. I'm kicking your ass though. It didn't go enough. No, you're not I'm kicking my ass. That's true. That's true. Zero nine. <laughs> I gotta be the worst coach in the world. But I don't leave you guys on a happy note. I leave you wanting more, that's for sure. 10-0. Oh, there you go. There you go. Except, right. Not very cooperative. 10-0. Uh, okay. Okay, don't miss. That's the goal here. Don't miss. Wait on the perfect setup. Yeah, but, but you, I should just say, okay, move me around. I can get all those. Balls. True. Plus, if you hit neutral dinks, hit in between my feet, then you can't move me. Around. Right. I can't do shit. That's coming because I saw progress today, especially in that twos and fours drill, where near the end you're calm, hit right. this space instead of right yeah, out, yeah. hitting the net or hitting it out. You are winning off those calm shots. You know. You can win off dinks all day long, especially your dinks, you know, because your backhand dink is so good. And your angles, so just wait. Position over power. And patience. And patience. There you go. Position over power and patience. Three Ps. I just made up something. There you go. Patience for sure. So let's see if we can, what Gordon wants to do, because I wouldn't mind doing the same 2 4 drill, but me focusing on him, you know. But we'll see. I know he wants to work on resets, but. Yeah, did you, he show you that little jujitsu analogy of the Gracies where they know a thousand move, but. Yes. They, all their wins come on the same 12 moves. Yeah, they just do them yeah. better than everybody else. Right. So we're just working on. Because that's what I figured out through my practice was I just need drops, dinks, blocks. You know, and then, then I worked on resets later. Because yeah. that was the only thing I was lacking. But as long as I can block everything, yeah. as long as I can out-dink people and be patient, you know, that's all you needed. 
so Gordon, I was thinking maybe we put you in the hot seat with me and Shar this time. I'm gonna restart the video. Oh, uh, well, let's make sure it's still going. Actually, hey, it's still going. I would keep it. <laughs> okay, let's not stop it. <laughs> okay, so this is the second part of this lesson. Okay, what I would for Gordon, to Gordon, because I think that's a good thing. always good to read. Okay. Um, I would like to have you hit me a couple balls when I'm up here. Yeah. After that, and I'm going to show you what I've been doing wrong, but I'm going to try to do it right. Okay. And that's the new shot you were talking about. Well, no, it's not new. It's just my forehand back. Okay. Um, today, several times, I've kind of decided fourth shot. I don't care who I'm playing. Yeah. I'm thinking. Okay. Just to practice. So yeah. today, probably seventy-five percent of them, three or four winners. Yeah. I mean, just because they hit a third shot. And if you put it right there, yeah, it's hard. Which we drilled the crap out of the other night, right. you know. Yeah. And then we're drilling it, and then I play against him, and I didn't see one <laughs> shot like that. Uh, well, he can, told me that. He's like, yeah, he said. I you can get down on me. You will never wasted. get down on me more than I got down on myself, which is. Fine. <laughs> um, so I want to do that, and then so I'm trying to do third shots off the rise. Okay. Right. That's Maybe how, you shouldn't do the baby thing. Can you go with that no, now? I want to do it. I just think this is so good, this part though. We'll get it, we'll do it like 15 minutes. Okay. Plus we're doing it with these targets, the twos and fours. And you're looking for the openings, to build the openings, right? Yes, you built that hole. She had to come over a little. You were patient and hit that spot. You didn't have to hit it hard either. That's one thing we're all learning is not to hit so gosh damn hard, you know? Setting. So that one that kind of drops soft right here, that sets up for the perfect cross court. But she dropped. She she put it here, right. and I thought, okay, she's he's gonna burn me. Right. And then you gave it back to her. I don't have that burn shot that you've got. That push, this push. Yeah. Thing. That's where my paddle goes upright, and I push it. it. Yeah. Because that was the one that was set up for it. Yeah, just don't overhit it. That's, yeah, a little too hard. And we want to go in here. Yep. Just when it presents itself. Otherwise, you're, you're doing everything right. You're really working me. I am. Should I come over there? No, he is. He's, he's hitting to my weakest spot. Yeah. You know? And you well, have to get it, to right? It. I was actually trying to see if she would jump in, too. Okay, and open that but hole. Yeah. Supposed to, right? No, no. Let me have it. Because Gordon likes those, too. Like I'm just watching his paddle for when he tries to burn me back door. Because this is, that one's yours. It would have been a shot. Yeah, I wasn't thinking, sorry. <laughs> uh, that one, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, you got to you gotta look for it. Yeah, that was it, though. Not that hard. It's You're going to, yeah, you don't, it doesn't need to be hard. It's just, it goes here and I just move it across, you know? Because your goal is to not, oh, so good. Right. I don't care. That went slow and I couldn't get it. No way. I couldn't around the post. It's not happening.
Yep. So now with you, no, if, right. I if, saw that. Now it's a threat. Yes. I I do it. And now I had to go here and open the hole. Right. Because yeah. now I got to think about it. Because I'd never worry about that shot. I mean, I'll. Until I teach it to somebody. <laughs> until somebody shows me they have it. Oh. See, I don't know how to recover it without a partner. Boy, that's tough to recover to here, protect You that. have to recover it, you have to do it anyway, right? It's. I showed you that I have that shot too. You have both. So you would just stay more neutral, you know? Because I really can't go down that line because it's too close to the net. That's why I like that shot so much. Ah, that was good. I like that going back to her while she's still recovering and not hard. You got to commit if you're going to go at it. <laughs> so I want you to just notice the shot I hit people yeah. is it's right in between the skip hop and the volley you know it yeah. is a frustrating it's a shot and what yes you have to do? You have to step back and the, yeah that's what I do or you got to really reach in it's just so really difficult really tough, yes right? But that's, these are the shots I'm hitting the people. Which you guys can too, you know. There you go. Maybe move your feet. You'll get a better shot. <laughs> a lot of our faults can be overtaken by our movement. <laughs> That one, right? It's so good. Yeah, and there's not a whole lot they can do with it, right? You can just defend for the most part. Oh, that was good. That was smart. Yeah. That's what, when you play the old 5 O's, man, that's the shot they give you every time. Yeah, just perfect spot. Right? Yeah, they will just hit perfect spots all day. Never hit anything hard. Oh, excellent, excellent. So when you have me, when you move me out, I hit a recovery shot, I come back to neutral here, but you went to her. That'd be much better. Yeah, just another one, another one, another one. Yes, work it. Because she's up there stable ready, unless you have an overhead at her. I'm not seeing it. Yeah. My head is another thing. Yeah. I Keep working the moving player. Okay, let's move me here.
Pro shot. Yeah. That's funny. Yep, no problem. Getting, I think I feel you're getting stuff off of this. Oh, okay. For me, um, if I am not in control of zinc, and I just control might just be a plan where to put it, right? Yes, um, exactly. And I can even be on the defensive, but if I have a plan, right? Yeah. I'm okay. If I have no plan, I'm on the defensive. It's not going to turn out well. No. I'm scrambling. I'm thinking about oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. This is, There's this a definite. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I have a plan every time I'm up there, and I, I'm just waiting for it to happen, for it to develop, just like that. So that's where you had her out. Yeah, because you would have actually probably burned your partner right there. If you gave it soft right. here, boom, right. Right. because he's going to have to come cover. Right. Got it. Okay. So work that system, yep. work that, work it. Yep. There you go, stay in it, reset it. Right there, yes. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And she even had a great job. You recovered, put in the bailout spot, and restarted. Great job. Good get. Finally hit the number two there. Gordon, that's it. Perfect, you know. You come to me, you just ruined everything you worked for. Right. Yep. Correct. Correct. Plus, your partner, there's no way he's looking for you to come here. He's like, oh, yeah, he's going there, going there, going there. He's going to be ready. And there were low shots. I wasn't attacking. Perfect. Didn't hit the net, didn't hit it out. You waited for her to miss, basically. Maybe that's something we say, you know, wait for the other person to miss. Wait them out, you know. Wait them out. Oh, perfect. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to go after you when you got back. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. So let's do a ton of the resets. We'll get the bucket out, green bucket. Because then you work on third shot drops, fifth shot drops, seventh shot drops. Those are resets. Yeah. Uh, first, though, you don't have to move for this one. You stay there. Okay. You can be on the base. Okay. 
it's, it's hard for me to float anything long and actually demonstrate this failure. Okay. Uh, so what I want are uh, keep the third shot that you're hitting me. Okay. Okay. Yes, but I'm probably moving in on this shot too, so let's try that. No, no, okay. This is not, if you're moving in, I think if it's actually a third shot. Okay. These are ones that. Uh, oh, they like, might be resetting. They're, they're resetting. Okay, okay, okay. Um, and really, I'm just keeping them back. Yes. Right? That's. Um, it's a mistake I made. It's a reasonably hard ball, but not, maybe not hard. Not yeah. Hard. And I somehow come back and do that. Yeah. I feel you're too upright, you know. There you go. Yeah. Totally good. And if you watch me on those shots, I'm just trying to roll it back to their feet. Roll it back to their feet. They're going to give me an easy one. I don't go hard on those. It's where I get tentative, though. I say, ooh, I put it long. Okay. I need to go softer. And actually, I need to go more firmly. Maybe not harder, but I need to attack it. You know what I mean? not attack in a put away sense, but I'm talking about how I think of, yes. you know, I've got to go after the ball. All I think of, I, I know the sh exact shot you're doing, is I want to roll it to their feet. I yes. want to roll it to their feet. Yep. Yeah. Because I, you don't want to give them a volley because nope. oh, no, no. those are the ones that go out. Um, no, I want to roll it to their feet or the last half of the... That's exactly right. The other, I mean, if it's high enough, I actually have a pretty aggressive, like, I mean, I can take that and... Yeah. I like it because it's top spinning, and then typically I would hit a floater off of it. You know? I like it a lot. Where the scene of my lack of confidence actually came from, and then it's like, oh. Okay. But, and then what I want to be doing is. I like it a lot. You know, like, when I say attack the ball, I don't mean like an attack. I just mean I've got to go after the ball, not let it hit me. Oh, that's what you're saying. Yes, I need to go. Yeah. It's got to be out in front of me. Go out and get it. Go out and get it. Yes, okay. That makes sense. Okay. Um, I get it. If we want to, we don't have to use a lot of balls for this. We could, I was thinking of a way of doing it being easier on your knee, but it also just works for me, is uh, I could serve um, you return and I third shot drop. Okay. And then you could serve, I return, come to the net, you third shot drop, and I have to do a fourth. Okay. So we're kind of drilling that, but you don't move from the baseline. Okay. That Am I doing good. my hip bag or this? I think just that's fine. Okay. We're just going to do one ball. Oh, okay. Until we, until we okay. Uh, 
Yeah, this is your lesson. My main thing I wanted to work on today with you guys was the twos and fours, so. Like I say, the twos and fours, I think I told you, you guys had a two and three dropping. Yeah. And Linda said, you know, drop to her back. Yeah. And yeah. suddenly, yeah, I told you that. Because you yeah. said I always drop the two and four. Yeah. Like, man, that's good. Okay. Okay. And you're going. I love the pancake. That's getting ripped. That's getting ripped. Loosen your grip, usually. Got it. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to explode, implode. That's what I like the best, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Ripped. That's good. That's good because that person a lot of times will come middle to poach. That's perfect. Whoa. That's the shot you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. You tell me when you want to switch sides. Nice. I've hit 50,000 times right there, you know, that cut to that corner. Perfect. Right, because I, I put you in a pattern and then I switch the pattern on you, you know? You're just Pavlov's dog to me. I'm making you drool. <laughs> oh, that was a good return right there.
Nice. Yeah. I mean, you're just setting your team up so well. Oh, uh, shoot. Yeah, it is. See, to me, the twos and fours actually extend all the way back. So if they're resetting, I'm still doing twos and fours on my resets. They go all the way. I think I mentioned that in passing, but I didn't make it as known. So I'm hitting twos and fours all the way back, up and down. That's nice. That's perfect. Let's try it with uh, with the wind in your face. That's where you're missing shots. You're saying. I noticed your four shots were not good. You know. Yeah. And it's again, we were talking about it because I have been driving them and now I want to dink them, but it's not different, you know, depending upon the third that I get. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And as you go up in levels, you really never have a fourth attack, <laughs> you know. But I told you I hit three winners today. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. So I just want to wire it. This is going to be harder. Yeah, because typically you would try to attack that one, you know? Yeah. Well, I would have been here. Exactly, yep. Or that guy's poaching it, looking to poach, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yes, yes. Exactly. And what you said there is super important because there's people that drive, this is their shot, that mid court drive. And why would you give them their favorite shot? Because somebody said, keep them back. It's the stupidest thing in the world. You're giving them their favorite shot. Oh, but I was said to keep them back. <laughs> no. The only keep them back is it, it's a ball that's here where they don't come in. Or all the way back, you know, all mean, the way back, no, no, right. You don't keep them. Because no. this, you give them their favorite shot. Yep. And if you can't block, you just screwed yourself. That's why we, yeah, that's why we call it getting whippled. You know, that guy, Jeff Whipple, who, he would just beat Lisa the, the, up. And she just kept giving it back. I'm like, drop it into the gosh damn kitchen. I don't care if they're all the way back there. Put it in the kitchen. Yep. They have nothing because they have no soft game, you know. But you said it. You've learned from it the hard way, you know. Yeah, how can you get hurt with that? You can't. Especially if you're a good dinker, right? Yeah, if you're the better dinker, get them into the dink. Yeah, and even I'd say sometimes if they're a real good driver of the ball, sometimes I'll still I'll drop this that one. I'll drop the return. Nice. Especially if they Yep. 
if all they do is drive and they always drive it at your mixed partner, why would you give that to them? Why not just drop it in the kitchen and make them play your game? It's just because it's not normal. Doesn't mean it's not a good shot, you know? It's just smart strategy. What'd you do? I'm taking my eye off. I'm looking at where I'm going and not the ball into the paddle. Yeah. I thought you didn't move your feet to it. You would have had it. Yep. Nice. Thanks. So what I like about what you're doing too is it gives you one plan. You don't have 50 shots to think about. You have one. Yes. And you can become an expert at that one shot. Yeah. Correct. It makes so much sense. There you go. You got real low. Footwork. Go for a hundred, right? Or that little, say thirty in your head. It really helped us, you know. Sometimes that's all you got. Oh, okay. I'm not trying to, well, the first one I tried to hit hard, but the rest I haven't. They're just going deep. Out. All right, five in a row. One. <laughs> nope. Two. I don't want to let you off the hook. Three. Four.
Okay, don't choke, don't choke, don't choke. Five, perfect. You wanna stick with this or move to something else? You don't have to come in. All okay. I want to do is get a third, get the first. Oh, okay, okay. Here, just put this on. Shoot, that might fall off of you. Let me get a drink. Uh, that was good. I like it. So we were working on his four shot. He was having four shot issues. So we're just going soft forward to the feet. When you got a good dropper and you try to attack thirds, it doesn't work. Each quadrant, okay. Okay. Ah, uh, great drop. Okay, I like I like this serve he's doing. Because it jumps up. It jumps up into the hip, which is an uncomfortable spot to hit this shot. If you had 11 of those, that'd be perfect. Now let's do a couple more. So which one was that? On the rise or on the Yeah. Yep. My whole thought, yeah. My whole thought is just getting underneath it and lifting it. It just makes it easy. I don't care where the ball bounces. If, if I get under it and lift it, it's gonna go. And then my little spin just comes the same and then I just slightly cut it at the end. But it's so consistent. I don't think I missed one in the whole drill. That's, it doesn't get more simple than that. These are way better. Nice. Yeah, it was good though. It's because I, I make things so simple. And it's all getting under it and lifting. 
How can you mess that up? <laughs> you know, really. Because it's the same as my dinks, you know. It's all the same. Nothing different. It's a super consistent. <laughs> I mean, you didn't miss one, right? I love the serve. It's kind of like Lisa's a little bit. She gives me the most fits because it hits and it jumps up in this spot that nobody likes. I hate it. <laughs> and it's super consistent. Yes. Super consistent and it goes right in that uncomfortable area. Nice. All right, I'm going to pressure you. You just let that jam you, you know? You let that jam you. Perfect. Perfect. Simple. We're good. Uh, let's, uh, but now let's just extend it and do third to seventh. You remember the first day of training we yeah. had? Um, Where you're just going to work your way up, hit like two, three shots in each section, working your way up? Or? Yeah, you, uh, you're here. Okay. And uh, I said, he told you to stop at 100. He said, really? <laughs> That's nice. Hey, correct. If you can handle it, it's it'll get you there quicker. No sex life anymore. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, uh, I think you were there. I'm trying to remember back day one where we did. You know, you had, you had to hit like three there, move up three there, move up three there. No, just move up. You're gonna work your way up. And you're going to be stopped by the time I'm hitting. That's what we did, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. We're going to do a few more, and then I'll tell you what you're doing incorrectly, but... We'll see if you fix it on your own. I feel they're getting too like wristy instead of shoulder. It's all shoulder because then you don't add anything into it. If you add wrist in it and you're under pressure, it goes bonkers. You just missed the paddle.
Yeah, I'll just miss it, right? It's all that that one right there. That one you probably could have let bounce. I kind of step back and I skip hop them a lot. Yeah. That was good though, way better. Oh, the perfect shot. What do you mean? To me, you know, they balance out, right? Oh, my bad. That was awesome. Good job. I thought you had it. Yeah, that was good. Better, you know? Much. Um, yeah, taking them out of the air, especially with the wind. And I'm struggling a little bit with the wide stance and being defensive and like, you know, but still. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it. You like it when I tell you what I want to do? The only time I really go out of the air, if I can help it, is backhand because I can push it. Forehand is just so difficult. That forehand reset out of the air is very hard. The backhand is good. Yeah. Sometimes I just turn and I rip it, <laughs> you know?
lift, right? Lift. You got a lot of room to let that ball wiggle, you know. You can hit it deeper. Okay. Because for me to attack it is foolish usually, you know. Because the wind's at my back. I'm going to try to let it bounce. Yeah. Okay, so when I play and when I start playing, I'd rather go deep and work it back towards the net than hit the net and work it that way. Yeah. Okay. What time is it? There, that's it right there. That's it right there. Because if your partner's doing what they're supposed to and being up front and scary, these shots work. Getting tired? Gotta suck it up. Suck it up, Buttercup. Nice. Oh, that was nice. Nice. Okay, five in a row. Starting now. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Let's get to ten. Six. Oh, tough one. That was good. My bad. Oh, that was really good. Okay, let's get to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now the rest I want put in this corner to the four.
Nice. Ugh. Yep, perfect. Luck favors the prepared. Oh, yes. <laughs> I shouldn't be, but that was lazy. You got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, wow. That was like 20, man. Holy shit. Yeah, so once you start... And I, and I do that too. In the beginning of the game, I might drop more middles, 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 and then I work them into that corner. Middle deep, and then whew, as I get comfortable, I work them just all in that corner. And then I start adding cuts. Yeah. So this lesson is like what, basically, we can introduce something new every time. I don't have a problem with that, but it's like spend a few minutes revisiting. Like, okay. you notice something. Mechanical slippages. Yeah. Right? Yeah, just right. You were wristy instead of shoulder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Dinks are pretty good. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.